Hello everyone. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. This video is about how to prepare and crack engineering manager interviews. It also helps you to retrospect on where you stand and makes you think on the gap that you need to focus and work upon. The engineering manager role is very critical in an organization. Engineering managers are the support system for any organization to succeed and achieve its goals. A good manager brings in a lot of value to the organization like high productivity, the long tenure of individual, individual growth contributes to the organizational goal and also generates great revenue. If organization fails to identify a good manager, then the organization will push back for minimum few years to their success and also creates instability in the yes, organization. I would like to share a few inputs that may help someone out there to succeed in engineering manager interviews. I am Sanjay Samuel. I got 10 years of experience and been part of many interviews, spoken to thousands of people and been in many debrief decisions. Through this, I have observed candidate missing out on critical things that turned out to be major setback for the engineering managers to crack the interview. In this video, I would like to cover three major things. One, skills required to crack or prepare for engineering manager interview. My observations in engineering manager discussions and also the preparation. Skills required. Let's see what are the key skills required for an engineering manager role. Stakeholder management, people management, cross-functional team collaboration, technical deep dive, architecture or system design, should have experience working in high scalable and distributed systems, strong in deliver results and strong leadership skills. My observations. I've observed that many times engineering manager would be either very busy or hurry to complete a discussion with recruiter. Recruiter will check whether they have worked on the skills and their answer would be yes and then directly jump into the level and the compensation or sometimes they would just ask to share job description. But the key thing that is missing out in this, the candidate are not asking the right questions like what are the key technical aspects involved in this role or what are the expectations from an engineering manager for this particular role that an organization is looking for. Preparation Stakeholder management Stakeholder management is the process of maintaining good relationships with the people who have the most impact on your work. According to Wikipedia, stakeholder management is a critical component to the successful delivery of any project or program or activity. So usually I would like to cover few interview questions and what is the expectations of interviewer. Interview question. Who are your stakeholders or how many stakeholders that you are working with? Expectations would be like you should know your stakeholders. You should talk about your internal and external stakeholders, their roles and responsibilities, your collaboration with them and give one example of the impact that you have created on project with their collaboration. Second question, who is your toughest stakeholder and how did you manage to work with them? Expectations is to understand how did you work with the toughest stakeholders your collaboration skills how do you back up your decisions with data how do you convince and what are your convincing skills how do you turn negative feedback to positive feedback pick only the problem that you have solved because interviewer might go in any direction and ask you details about it and might get into each and every detail People management. People management involves organizing your team in a way that increases productivity and optimizes efficiency. Let's go to interview question. Like, could you talk about your team and team composition? The expectation is 
like how did you manage your team how do you respond to this particular question take 2 minutes and try to give the right information about the team that reports into you many uh, candidates fail to give right number of people who are reporting into them so you should be able to differentiate the direct report is and the dotted line report is also talk about the team composition and teams in different geographies that report into you also give split like senior level uh, people report into you mid level uh, engineers or junior level engineers were you involved in building team the expectations is whether you have experience in building the team from the scratch also you should be able to talk about the strategy that you are following to build your team you should be able to talk about how you get head counts from your leadership for a particular project and also your plan to hire them also talk about your collaboration with talent acquisition team and the strategy to hire them if asked talk about the things that you have done differently to hire your team next important question in people management is how do you differentiate between top performer and low performer the expectations are the methodology that you follow to rate your top performers talk about distribution of the task and monitoring methodology how do you consider a individual to be a low performer how do you reward top performers if asked also talk about the instance where you turned low performer to high performer with data also talk about how you create a growth plan for an individual and one more important point is how you perform retention activity and attrition activity and how you manage people with low performing skills to put them in performance improvement plan cross functional team collaboration cross functional collaboration happens when different team in an organization collaborate on a common project or a goal collaboration is an essential practice for organization looking to break down silos and work along department instead of against each other let's take few questions how do you work with dependency teams expectations are how you build strategical relationship and trust amongst organizations understand cross functional team responsibilities how do you define strategic goals how do you align everyone to same specific strategical goal how do you coach and build mission and vision of the entire project or product with several teams technical deep dive deep dive is a method where an individual or team conducts a intense in-depth analysis of a certain problem or subject or a product interview question talk about one of the complex design problems that you solved expectations are how do you define a problem and always pick the problem with high complex compared to the company that you have applied for how do you define the impact of the problem on the organizational goal your in-depth analysis or the root causes of a problem that you have worked on and how you brainstorm on the problem statement your thoughts on approach to solving the problem efficient technology that you propose and why a specific technology has been chosen to solve that particular problem also you should be able to talk what's your quick fix and then a long term solution for a given problem then you should be talk about why the problem has occurred what is your way forward working with similar kind of problems and similar kind of complexities tip for this particular competency is to always answer with a example that you worked because interviewer would ask lot of counter questions next and most important competency architecture or system design 
System design is a process of defining the components, modules, interfaces and data for a system to satisfy specific requirements. Let's see interview questions. Can you design an application similar to food ordering system? The expectations are how you gather the requirements, how you solve the problem, how do you scale the application or the concepts of the scalability, distributed systems and design patterns. How do you define high level components, low level design, component, component level design, module level design, interfaces and interdependencies of the components, database that you want to use for this particular problem statement, security aspects of the application, third party integrations, APIs that you want to propose, microservices, evaluating different approaches, taking the feedback in between interviews, which shows whether you are receptive to the feedback. Tip for this competency, every point is very important. Don't ignore the LLD part. In the real time, though the senior architects or individual contributors would be working on low level design, but in this particular round, interviewer would expect your expertise in terms of LLD if given a problem, how do you manage that particular uh, component designs. Deliver results. Deliver results is about always how you perform at your highest capacity. Continually follow through on your commitments. Don't forget to follow up on your tasks. Interview questions. Talk about a project that you successfully delivered. The expectations are a complex project that you delivered and the impact of the project. You should be able to talk about how did you demonstrate accountability? How did you break down the roadblocks? How did you lead the team to achieve the result? How did you manage critical issues? Team accountability and time management. Also, defining the deliverables by cross-functional and dependency team. How did you anticipate the delays or the problems and how did you face the setbacks or the last minute changes? So these are very important competency. Each and every competency is important and you should prepare on all the competencies with the examples. Also prepare some examples on these following competencies like think big ownership, the decisions that you made, pace of the work. Hope this video would be useful for you. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.